Yo, it's Jermaine Dupree on the hot spot, ATL.com. Uh, I mean, you know, right now I'm just putting out this Dondria album, making sure that um, it goes right. It's my first independent record on So So Death, uh, so I'm really excited about it. <clears throat> I actually put together the entire project myself and my whole company. So, uh, you know, it's a lot of work in that, and um, August 17th is the date of the release, and we're just excited to see that um, her album come out, you know what I mean? Um, I got the number one record up here at Hot 107.9 right now, which is the Monica record. A lot of people don't know I produced that. Uh, love all over me, so I'm happy that that's popping, and I'm happy that, um, you know, at a hip-hop station, I can have a, a ballad be a number one record. That's amazing. So, uh, I mean, you know, and just in the studio, constantly working. I got a new record on myself, too. It's called I Heard Him Say. That's uh, my first single from whatever I think I'm going to put out. If I put out an album or something, I might not, but if I do, that's the first single. <laughs> Well, I mean, actually, it was, it was, you know, I found somebody told me to check her out on videos. And, you know, everybody telling you to listen to different music and this, that, and third. So somebody told me to listen to her on YouTube. And at that time, I wasn't really up on YouTube. I just was like, nah, I'm not checking out nobody singing on YouTube. I didn't really know why. I didn't even know what was the interest of anybody else to hear a girl sing um, other people's music on, on TV. It was just not an interest to me. But then when I checked it out, uh, I checked out her attitude and her... Um, all over everything about her, her her demeanor and everything to go along with the vo vocals and then i checked out the vocals to realize that for her to sing a song without being in the studio no effects and just sit in front of a computer no edits uh every video she made was never edited it was just her singing all the way through she messed up you got that and i just thought it was just raw talent and it was time for somebody to grab her and take her in the studio and uh, we went through like a two-year process and the two-year process was just me getting everybody to understand who she was and understand the vision and understand where she came from and um, hopefully we're here well i mean just to clear it up for everybody I, uh, it's still major distribution i mean the distribution side is basically uh malico and it's major it's, one, it's like the third biggest distribution company in the world so the distribution is still is major it's just the major companies actually being in bed with you um you actually kind of cut out the third part the third person uh but for me it's, it's a lot more work you know what i mean i tell people this every day every day when i wake up i die i have to do a lot more work than i ever did in the years that you've known me uh which is interesting at the same time it's kind of challenging so um um but but as far as the industry goes it's kind of like for new music and new artists it's really tough with these new with these majors they don't really um they're not really set up for you to break new artists they more set up to continue to keep selling artists that that have sold millions of records and continue to keep, keep doing that so for a person like myself that's brought out new artists constantly um it's kind of like a fight between me and the majors a couple of times so it just kind of pushed me to say let me try to do this on my own and if it worked then i'll continue to keep doing it i I'm, I'm still have love for majors and i still you know looking forward to doing things with all the labels as well as i work for them by doing producing you know records like usher and monica and people out there so it's no real love loss it's just um it's just times change it's time for me to you know and also one of my biggest inspirations was barry gordy and as a, and when I say inspiration for myself, that means that I really want to walk in the same footsteps that he did. And he built Motown from ground up. And that's basically how I always wanted to do with So So Death. So I want to see if I can embark on trying to help get into that light. You know what I mean? So that's what's up. I mean, for me, the honor is crazy because, like I said, I, here we are in 2010 going on 2011. I got number one record at this station on a hip-hop station. That's an R&B record. And then, I, like you know, like you said, two months ago, I was uh, honored at the Hip Hop Awards. So it's kind of funny for me because I don't know if people know me for R&B records. If people know me for hip-hop, it's just musical for me. So it's, it's, it's beautiful to see that I could be accepted in both or just over the board and... Um, it was a great experience for me and all the people that came out, Franchise Boys. Uh, they took Bone Crusher from my show. He's, he's so, so deaf. He's supposed to be part of my show. But I feel like, um, you know, we are we are the South and we had a period. And I think, I think the South has been dissed in hip-hop so long as far as, like, it not really being hip-hop. People treat us like we're not really hip-hop. So we only feel like we only got our chance, our moment one time. But Southern hip-hop has had years of progression. And um, I think you can't just do the the hip hip hop honors the South one time. You know what I mean? It need to be a part two, part three. It don't even need to be parts. It need to be just like when they do New York. It's not a part. It's just the hip hop honors, and they honor whether it be Red Man, Method Man, or this person one year. You know what I mean? It'd be the same with us. I mean, you know, um, 
Eight Ball and MJG, they came before a lot of people that was out here. Um, they came before Goody Mob, so a lot of people probably felt like they didn't see them on the show, and they right. They should, I mean, but that's, that's, that's VH1's fault. They have to go back and really, really pull it up in the right way and make sure that they understand that the South has a lot more history than just right now, than just Lil Jon, T.I., Jeezy, and what they hear right now. I mean, it's a lot more. It's Sha D. It's, it's, it's a lot of people, you know what I mean? It's a lot of people that was missing from the honors of the South that, that should have been there. So I do understand people being mad. I mean, I asked a lot of questions like, where was this person and where was that person? But... I mean, you know, what can I do? I can't, I can't make it change. But I do understand it. Uh, Atlanta hip hop has just just become serious. You know what I mean? Um, I, I think back to when um, the only hip hop was that was actually representing for Atlanta was me and Outkast at the at at the Source Awards. I remember this because Andre said. Um, he got on the mic and he was a little mad because he felt like the South was being, you know, looked at differently. He said the South got something to say. And ever since he said that, the ball been rolling. You know what I mean? So um, it just goes to show you from that point to now, like every award show now, you go to Hip Hop Awards now, it's all South. You know what I mean? So um, I don't even know what year that was. Probably like 94, 95. Since 95, the ball has been rolling. So I'm excited and I'm happy to see it. And I just hope we can keep it going. I hope we just don't get caught up in just like the bullshit of what everybody else do and just keep the motion going because that ain't what we was built on and that's why I say that we was just built on making good music and having a good time and going to the clubs and getting our music played